it's kind of similar to like the situation that we did just go through with the hurricane and like how I was able to keep it all going is because during that downtime, we, we were ahead. We did plan ahead. We had that content already there. So it's like in that moment, everything can still keep flowing normally, even though it is like a crazy moment of time and you might be really busy or whatever. Yeah, I'm not having to actually execute on all of those ideas. It's like letting all the, the work I already did during that downtime just kind of like flow out. Yeah, it's it's like the balance between the big ideas and the day to day. Yeah. And the day to day, when you have a slow time, the day to day starts to to go down. There's there's not too much in your day to day. You got to check a few things. Got to do a few things. But then you have a lot of time for creative space. But then when you have your busy times, your up times, whatever you want to call them, it's like that day to day becomes huge. And and all of a sudden you're filling every work hour with the day to day things. You feel like you don't have the space to start being creative. And that's exactly when it's time to lean on the great content that you've already created. And and in the case of most of our clients too, not only are they leaning on the content they've already created, but they're they're leaning on the fact that they only have to do that content session once that year. Um, so so mm -hmm. if they're in, the, they can be in their busy time for 363 days a year <laughs> and the other two will be making content with them. And I think that that's a, a not just a good balance. In fact, it's not a balance at all. It's really just like a complete outsource of the creativity and the, and filling the schedule of what you need to create. I, I just, I get it. And it's why we do things really similarly here too.